Enen. You don't look happy. What's the problem? Too many confusions cropping up, Madame. I'm going to be fine. I know you are going to be fine. But can you please tell me what troubles you? My love, at this stage I would not want you to be part of my many troubles, but I assure you that I will be fine. Amen. If this journey to kingship would take away the peace that we have had in this house, then we should look at it again. We are not desperate for this. If royalty is going to ruin the peace that we have enjoyed all these years, then we should relax and decide exactly what we want. We are talking about marrying the king. <laughs> and if you are asking me if it is by force, I will answer you emphatically that it is yes. You must marry him. No, Papa Mba. It is not by force to marry him. You cannot force me to marry a man who I don't love. Papa, check it now. You check it. I don't love him from anywhere. See, you cannot force me to marry him simply because you want me to be the queen. Who does that? Papa, let me tell you. The man I will marry will have to be someone that I love. And he will convince me that he loves me back. Simple. What do you know about love? I may not know much. But the little I know is enough for me to know my left from my right. Mm. Yes. How can you talk about love when you are not even reasonable enough to think about what I just told you, to give it a chance? Papa, stop this now. Papa, Papa, Papa please stop this. Hey, I've told you, I'm telling you again, I have a man in my life and he is the one I want to be with. Mm. Yes. You will call the man. If I told he's a man in the real sense of being a man and tell him it is over. I will do no such thing, Papa. Eh? Yes. I'm not going to do that. Mm. He is the man I want to spend the rest of my life with. Mm. I am comfortable with him and he is the one I want to end my life with. Mm. Yes. I'm your father. You will obey me. Papa! You will obey me. Papa, Papa stop this now! Papa! What brings you to my compound? My name is Chia Zokam, the daughter of Ichi. I did not ask about your name. I ask you, why are you here? I want you to tell me the meaning of Okukundichi. Why? Nothing much. The Queen Mother mentioned it yesterday in my dream. And the Chio Bidike also mentioned it yesterday. So I want to know the meaning of Okukundiche. Then go back to Chio Bidike for the meaning. He told me to go and get the meaning from someone else. So I can't go back to him. Why? Am I not a daughter of this land? My father was an Iche before he died. So why won't you educate me on what Okukundiche is? Okukundi Chie, as the name implies, is for the Ichies. It is not for women. It is not called Okuku for the women, no. So, since your father was an Ichie before he died, and he did not educate you on the meaning, it is not in my place as the chief priest of this land to discuss that with you.
She came with a very bad spirit. As she sewed her hands into anything, Since Uncle has not been himself since yesterday. You are right. Sido, what would be the problem? I don't know. Sister, you don't know. Is he not your husband? You should be the first person to know what troubles him. I asked him what the problem is, and all he could say is. He will be fine. He will be fine. See, sister, you need to pressurize him to tell you. It's not like him. It's looking so unhappy and withdrawn. It's okay. Now I'll speak with him later. I'm, re I'm really worried. Happiness is gradually eluding this family, and I don't like it. Abasima. It's okay. I will speak with him. Okay. Is his food ready? Um, yes, you can come serve it. All right, let's go. Okay, let me help you. Should I help you? That's all. Thank you. Chancellor, can I tell you the truth? You have become one of those visitors that I do not ever enjoy their visits. Eh? What have I done wrong? You may not have done anything wrong. But there is this spirit. This evil spirit that always travels with you anywhere you go. And I am no longer comfortable with that spirit. Uh -uh. Which one is the evil spirit now? I don't know what you're talking about and I am not possessed by any evil spirit. Uh, do you know what? Can you tell me why you are here? I'll tell you. Chief. Please. I want to know the meaning of Okukundichi. Okay, I am going to give it to you as an assignment. Go and find out what it means. When you find the meaning, then you can come back and tell me what you have understood it to mean. Then and only then will I tell you what you need to know about it. Chief Matos an assignment. You've given me this assignment before. Eh? I went to someone and the person told me reliably to come back to you that you know the meaning. Please, tell me the meaning. Who did you speak with? The chief priest. And what did he tell you? He said I should come back to you, that you will tell me what it means. Why would he refer you back to me? Hi, you can miss him. But I know you know the meaning. Eh? Please, what is Okukundichi? I want to know. Okay, you know what? Go and bring me your husband. When you bring your husband, I will tell your husband everything. And then he will be the one that will pass the information across to you. Since your father was an Ichie before he died, and he did not educate you on the meaning, it is not in my place as the chief priest of this land to discuss that with you. Eh? What is so, 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 so important in this thing that neither you nor the chief, chief priest can spill it? What? I've already made it easy for you. Bring your husband 
to me and I'm going to tell him everything concerning Okukundichi Dinime Mkulu. Ichi, what is... Is this a new twist to it? What do you mean by the Dinime Mkulu? I don't understand. Bring your husband. If you can. Why are you fighting someone chosen by the gods? Why are you fighting someone chosen by the gods? Why are you pushing so hard? Why the desperation? No. Why are you fighting someone chosen by the gods? So stop the fighting. Stop the fighting. You're not eating yet. Or should I help you? How are you? I am fine, sir. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Thanks for thanks for asking. Okay, um I want to get something from the kitchen. So you have to conquer, to conquer. Oh, stop the fighting, stop the fighting. And embrace the truth, embrace the truth. choice of the gods. Nobody can question. You have to conquer. Okwa kwa banti monora. Ebo listen to solo na banana. Oko kanti ke na no ki feni to be Who can question? Of the gods, I only have for the quanqua de bell. Oh, yeah. Welcome, uh, welcome, my dear. Thank you. Yeah. You're enjoying palm wine. As you can see, you can as well join me. It tastes good, trust me. I don't have the appetite. I mean, it tastes super. Mm -mm, thank you. Okay. So, how did it go? You can't believe it. The chief priest asked me to go and see Chief Obidike. Well, that's fine, that's okay. You can go straight and see Chief Obidike then. Obim, that is where I am coming from. And guess what? Chief Obidike asked that you come and see him. Uh -uh. What is going on? I don't know. But Obim, whatever it is, we must see this to the end. Of course we're going to see the end of it. Because I'm going to see Chief Obidike today, unfailingly. Exactly what I thought. You have to. Well, obviously you look tired and probably you're hungry. I am. Uh... I missed something in the kitchen. Obim, stop it. Come on, I made food for you. You did? Oh, yes. For me? Are you know my wife? Aww. Are you know my wife? Oh, come yeah. You made food for me. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. God bless you. Thank you. You know what? I know you must be tired. That's I why am. I did it. Thank you. I can't wait to go and taste the food. Okay? Just me. You'll be shocked when you test it. Oh, I know you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but what is so special about the so-called Okukundichi? That the elders do not want to tell my wife. Didn't go eat his food before leaving. I hope all is well. This is so unlike him. Sweet. 
sister. Don't you think something is terribly wrong? Why will he leave the house without even eating his food? Are you saying he did not finish his food or he didn't even eat at all? Sister, I did not even test a grain of rice from his food. <sighs> this is so unlike him to leave the house without food. This whole thing is really affecting him. Sister, something is wrong somewhere. See, you need to find out what that is and fix it. The kingship is a problem. The kingship? Sister, I, I feel there is more to it than the kingship. Something is wrong. You need to find out what that is and fix it. What do I do? I'm confused. I love my wife and I have never dreamt of sharing my body with another woman besides her. And on the other hand, I love my people. It has always been my heart's desire to give them good leadership that has eluded them for a long, long time. Is this connected to what my father said? You have a beautiful house here. I appreciate it. Thank you, Daddy. Ah. Uh, I hope you know that uh, very soon uh, you'd move in with me here. No. Why not? I cannot leave the family house like that. Someone needs to be there to take care of it. Uh, Dad, we can get someone to take care of it. Or better still, we put it up for rent. As long as you come here and, and stay with me. No. That would be sheer waste of money. And to hire somebody to take care of the house when I can actually be there and take good care of it. But Daddy, I need you close to me. Eh? I want you close to me. I, I mean, it's really comfortable here, as you can see. Everything that you need is right here. Eh? We'll have food, we'll have your kind of drink. Uh, Daddy, there's constant power supply. Uh, what else do you want? Uh, my son, uh, I appreciate what you are trying to do. It is all right, but I can't leave the family house. I also live in a comfortable house, and I'm not complaining. Uh, Dad, there is really no winning with you. Even if you're not comfortable in that house, you'd never say so. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> uh, my son, I appreciate what you are trying to do. Uh, it's all right, but I won't leave the family house. Uh, now that you have this beautiful structure erected in your name, I think it's time for you to look for a beautiful damsel from our land to make you a wife. No, don't you think so? Well, Dad, I have found a beautiful lady that I would like to get married to. Uh, She's from Uyo, in a Kwai Bom state. You'd love her when you see her. Uh, but why go that far? When you can actually have beautiful and responsible women from my own land, from a Zira kingdom. To marry! Dad, the heart wants what it wants. That is why I found love. Hmm? I, 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 think, uh, I think I'm having a headache now. Uh, maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow we continue this discussion. <laughs> no problem. Do you want anything? No, 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 tomorrow. Dad, since yesterday when I told you about my intention to marry, the lady from Akwaibom. Your countenance changed and has remained so till now. What is the problem? Chuka. Yes, sir. Mm. You are not just anyone. You are a royal seed from the family of kings. Dad, you're not a king. Why all this plenty talk about kingship? Uh, 
First, I want to let you know that if you decide to marry anyone from anywhere, it's entirely a choice. I understand that. Not mine. But that choice we either make or marry you. Okay, now I don't understand. Please explain. If at the end of the day, you end up marrying a woman who is not from Ezira, from this kingdom, you will be limited to so many things. Can you explain further, please? Uh, uh, I will use the kingship of this land to explain as an example, to explain it further to you. Should the gods decide to make you king of Israel land, your marriage with a woman who is not from Ezira, that will hamper it a great deal. But I have never shown interest in matters of royalty, so why should I be bothered about their throne? <laughs> it is not their throne. It is equally a throne. Women who are not from Ezira land eh, have never functioned as queens in Ezira. And I don't see change in our time. Uh, we advise that whatever you have in common with, with her, you end it. And choose a wife for my people. I'm sorry, Father, but I have crossed the Rubicon with her. There is no going back. Well, as I said, the decision is entirely yours. It's yours. Uh, uh, come and see me off. I want to go. I never saw this coming. What do I do? As that I see you. Yes. And that's because she was asking questions on something that has got to do with just men. Are you talking about the meaning of Okukundiche? Yes. Okukundiche is that very spot where our progenitor made the declaration of Alokose. Its ritual is divided into two segments. One of the segments has only to do with men, and that is the segment we are going to discuss today. The other segment, uh, we are not going to bother ourselves about that. Okay. Go ahead, I'm listening, Chief. It is an age-long tradition, an age-long ritual here in Ezra Kingdom, and in fact, all other kingdoms in Ebola land. Once a male child, a son, is born into a family, his arrival is announced to the Okukundi here with an animal that has blood by the men in that family. Some will use a fowl, some will use goat, some will use ram, some will use sheep. In fact, some wealthy families have actually killed cows. On the Okuku. So, are you saying that if a man cannot afford any of the items you have mentioned, he's not eligible to announce his son to the gods? <laughs> I, I never said that. Because in the ancient Igbo land, almost all the families were rearing animals. Any man who can impregnate a woman can afford at least a cock to announce his son in the Okuku. That ritual is very important because it is on that ritual that we trigger the sheep. That is the personal God of that child, a special gift of the ancestors to start following that child from there going forward. 
This is nice. I like it. <laughs> so why did we stop it? Uh, who said we stopped? No, no, do you think it is possible for us to stop? Only some fools believe that we have stopped. Intelligent people still announce their sons in Okuku up to today. All those are the people that you see all this Kajamata nonsense that women are now using on men. The men who we are announcing in Okuku, those Kajamata, whatever, cannot get them. Even chance cannot get such men. Because they are heard as the projects of the ancestors, as projects of Ndishia. And the one Malan here, I'm a golden dish here. Malan the boo. Chosen by the gods, I am. No one can stop me. I am. Oh, I. I am. Oh, I. Oh, I. Oh, I. Oh, I. What's up? You did not sound well over the phone. What happened? Yes, I deliver. I am at crossroads here. You see, this issue with royalty is really... It's affecting me, you know? You should be able to present this matter clearly so that I can understand you. What happened? The elders of our land are insisting that I take a second wife if I must ascend the throne as king. Why? You know that my wife is not from here. And if you go by our history, um, a woman born outside Ezra has never been become queen, you know? Uh, you're right. You're right. So what do you want to do? I don't know. That's why I've come to you. So that you can advise me. I don't know. If, if you ask me, that should not be a hard decision for you to take. Oh, please tell me, what do you want me to do? What to do is simple. Get yourself a second wife. Yes. No, I can't do that, Dara. I love my wife so much. I can't, I can't do that. Point of correction, Chukuka. Your love for your wife is not under contention here. And no one is asking you to chase her away. So what then are you asking that I do? Just get yourself a second wife and consider Idara the wife of your youth. And your new wife will ascend the throne with you as the queen. That won't be me relegating Idara to the background. And that will also be what? Polygamy? Something that I do not fancy. I'm sorry. I, I, I can't do that. I'm sorry. Past kings of our land embraced polygamy. And they did very well which you know about it. So it will not be a big deal if you decide to tow the same path with them. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid I cannot tow that path. That's not who I am. What is it? There is problem. Big problem. And if you don't add fast, all that you have planned for will fall like a pack of card before your very eyes. Fear what? Get this is all this. Ha. So, um, you talk as if you have a very important information for me. Yes, I do. I'm all ears. I heard from a reliable source that Iche Ogoro is scheming to marry his daughter Ekema off to Chukuka as one of the criteria that qualifies him to be crowned the king of this land. Imano, oh my god. Oh, make a sense. Why men Jabaki? His daughter. 
चलो Wait a minute, Chukuka. You want to tell me that you will forfeit the throne just because of a woman? Idara is not just a woman, Odilibe. Idara is my wife. Idara is the love of my life. And I do not intend to have a second love. See, if not that I've known you for a very long time now, I would have said that you are under influence of some cheap drugs that makes people high unnecessarily. Adelibe, this is not a joke to me. I'll tell you here and now, if the elders of our land insist I take a second wife, I am going to call them and denounce my interest. And I'm serious about it. My family comes first. What has come over you? I mean, why are you behaving like one secondary schoolboy in love? Come on, man. Come on, come out of this this is your childishness. You need to embrace the throne. Idara is the biggest blessing that life has given to me. Marrying Idara, making her my wife, is the biggest thing that has happened to me. So I don't know what you're talking about. Can I tell you the truth? Go ahead. The gods will be disappointed in you hearing this. Why? I've not asked for anything bad. I'm only protecting my family. The gods will be disappointed in you for choosing to be with a woman instead of ascending the throne and bettering your life. I deliver the gods will understand that my life without it, that I would be a mess. My life can never be the same without Idara by my side. Even the gods know this. Chukwoka, I will advise you think this over and over again. I will not think about it. There is nothing to think about. Family comes first. <sighs> I don't want to argue with you. Why are you pushing so hard? Why the desperation, love? Why are you fighting someone chosen by the God? So stop the fighting, stop the fighting, and embrace the truth. Embrace the truth. The God has spoken. Oh, baby. You should already trust me by now. 
I can take anything. How did it go with Chief Obidike? What he said has nothing, I mean, no connection with the issue on ground. I still want to hear what he said. Honey, you don't have to worry about it. I mean, what he said has completely nothing to do with you. Let me deal with it. If you say so. But then on another development, I was reliably informed that Ichie Ugoro is scheming seriously for Chukuka to marry his daughter Ekema, a second wife. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that he can ascend the throne with her as the queen because she's a daughter of the soil. <laughs> <laughs> Obi. Yes. I don't understand the laughter. Because it's funny. Why? How? And what you say is very laughable. How? Why? The Chukuka, I know, will not embrace the idea of taking a second wife. Oh, Obim. Obim, don't be too sure about that. Speak for yourself. Huh? Eh? Speak for yourself. Listen, when it comes to women, men can be unpredictable. Yes, I mean, we are talking about a man who loves women so much to the extent that he had to marry a woman from you. The reason he married a woman from you may be different from what you are talking about. Chukuka will never marry a second wife. Hmm. Anyways, you know him more than I do. Of course. So, Bim, if that is the case, then you have to start preparing yourself as king. Because we, the women of Ezira Kingdom, will never allow Chukuka ascend that throne with Idara as his queen. Never. The motto of Boy Scout mm. is be prepared. I am always prepared. I know. In that case, I know. Your husband is hungry. Mm. Yes, the king in waiting. Mm -hmm. So, my Lolo, go get something nice for the king. Oh, with eat. all pleasure, Your Highness. That's my Lolo. <laughs> Welcome, sir. Welcome. Uh, Abbas, sir. Oh, how are you? I'm fine. Welcome. Inam, what is it? What's bothering you? I am no longer comfortable. I'm fine. Inam, I'm okay. Nothing whatsoever. I'm fine. Your response and your body language suggest otherwise. <sighs> I'm just tired, all right? I'm, I'm just tired. Maybe I'm just overwhelmed by, by a lot, you know, but as a man who is destined to be king, I can tell you that but I am fine, my love. I'm okay. Okay? It is now clear that you're beginning to buy into the tales of my not being a woman of this land. You're now keeping secrets from me. I'm not, I'm not keeping secrets from you. Ben, Inem, what is bothering you? Nothing. I'm fine. All right, I've had a long day. I just, 
I just want to go in and rest. I will not leave this place until you tell me what the problem is. Sister, stay out of this. Inem, did you just say that to me? Yes, I did. And that's exactly what would happen. I'm tired. It's been a long day. Please, my love. I need you to understand that your husband is tired. Okay? Just let me go. Even if you want to talk, maybe not now. And I might beg you. Let me through. Please. How do you be in full? Eh? You just go back from work. Allow him to have a shower, rest, then you can have this conversation. But he wouldn't let me. That's why I decided to have that discussion here and now. Okay. My father is trying to frustrate my life. I mean, he's trying to make everything difficult for me. If I had known this is the reason he called me, babes, I will come back. Trust me. He's still your father, no matter what. Don't talk about him like that. Imagine my father trying to force me to marry a man he recommended for me. Who does that? Am I still a baby? <laughs> Must it be the man? Exactly. Because you're so matured now to choose who you want to marry. Exactly what I told him. As a matter of fact, I am deeply involved with the guy. Hey. As I speak with you, Amara, he already asked me when he's going to come and see my people. Then you should tell your father about it. So he stopped asking you to marry someone he wants you to marry. I've done that several times. But he refused to listen to me. I don't know what to do again. Why is he so insistent? What is in the bag? What's so special about this person that he wants you? To marry. The only meaningful and special thing about this particular man is that he was chosen by the gods to be the next king of this kingdom. Little did he know that I don't, I don't even have interest in all those positions mm. and... Wait. I'm just tired. Wait, 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 wait. Did you just say the king, the chosen king? Yes. Whoa, baby girl! <laughs> That's a big thing. What? Are you, are you kidding me? Listen, girl, do you know what is in the bag? Do you know what you are winning? What? If you marry this man and he becomes the king, you automatically become the most powerful woman in this kingdom. Not only that, you become the second most powerful human being in this kingdom. How, how do you mean? The prevent position of the queen of this kingdom will so much power, with so much authority and affluence. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about financial power. I'm talking about connections. I'm talking about protocol. Name it! Mama, you, I mean, you don't decide me, Nabi. Yeah, you decide me. Ah. <laughs> Hi, oh. <laughs> Do I look like I'm joking? Huh? Do I look like I'm joking? See, all the queens in this kingdom are worshipped like goddess due to the power they control. Every woman, almost every woman in this kingdom is going to worship you like a goddess. What? Are you being serious? <laughs> I know what told me about all of this. Now I'm telling you, this opportunity of a lifetime, grab it. You mean in control of the whole kingdom? And I am going to worship you. <laughs> Wait. So, you should get into the palace. Well, now it's making a lot of sense to me. So that I can get a position. Do you, Just calm do you down. Let me get in there. I'm saying. Go! 
Don't, don't, don't lose it. I swear, this is a big fish. Oh, 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 now I get it. Now I get it. <laughs> the, 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 the queen! Made it. Them. Why are you not eating? Are you waiting for me? I will. Hey. What's with the straight face? What's the problem? What are you going to eat? What is wrong? Papa, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? My sister feels you keeping secrets away from her, so she's, she's... That is ridiculous. Keeping secrets? I'm not keeping... Of course you know I'm not keeping secrets from her. Uncle, if you're not keeping secrets from her, then tell her now. She's a woman. Call her. Tell her. Explain things to her so that she'll understand better. I am... Hey, uh, I am... No one can stop me. I am... She's the chosen queen I of Azira Kingdom. I am chosen by the gods. I am no one can stop me. I am oh I, I oh, oh, oh I am Ayo I am Ayo I am Ayo My love I am. Oh, 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 Please I'd like to talk to you. You wanted to keep it to yourself, so let it remain that way. I don't, I don't see it that way. It's just that I'm... I just have a lot on my mind, you know? I'm confused and I'm, I'm battling with so much. You know, it's just something that I, I felt I could handle, but right now it's... It's choking me out. I don't know what to do anymore. I have to talk to you. Chukoka. Yes. I am your wife. I know. If there is anything, you should confide in me. I am under immense pressure by the others to take a second wife if I must ascend the throne of easy king. What? It is said that a woman married into his era from another tribe cannot cannot be crowned queen in my land. Hi! Yamio! Yamin Zangari! I'm a thing! Oh! Baby. So this Baby. is the answer to that dream I had staring me right in the face. <gasps> You are going to be the one to cast me out? What? No. You know, you know me. You, you, you know, you know that that is never ever, it will never happen. I know I'll, exactly what I'm talking about. I Kinsman. will do that to you. I know what I'm talking about. Kinsmen, family, friends no. will begin to put you under pressure. And it will just be a matter of time. You will succumb to the oppression. No. Oh. No. Inan, I love you. I love you. You are my wife. I would never share my bed or my body with another woman. That, that's, the, that's a promise I made to you when you accepted to marry me. You're, and I'm going to stand on that promise. Hi. Please. I'm asking me. Inan, please. Oh, God. I, I, I didn't see this coming. No, I didn't see this coming. Jesus! Jesus! Please, come. Oh, ah. No, calm down. Calm down. <gasps> no, no. no. <gasps>
I'm never going to marry another woman. I promise you, okay? Oh, I me up. Oh, oh. Stop crying. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop. You're breaking my heart. Stop. 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 I will not do it. I will not do it. Oh, Matty. I will not do it. Oh, Matty. I will not do it. Yeah, oh. Yeah, oh. She is the chosen queen of the Zira kingdom. I am. Hey, yeah. I am. No one can stop her. I am. She's the chosen queen of the Zira kingdom. I am. Chosen by the gods. I am. No one can stop her. I am. Oh, I am. Oh, oh. If you marry this man and he becomes the king, you automatically become the most powerful woman in this kingdom. Not only that, you become the second most powerful human being in this kingdom. If all that I might said to me is true, then I will give it a try. Huh? Because I cannot wait to prance around the entire village in absolute power, command people around and then wield great influence. That has always been the kind of life I want for myself. And it's here knocking on my door. All I have to do is to grab it with all my heart. Yeah. Hi. She's the chosen queen of a Zira kingdom. I am. Hey, yeah. I am. No one can stop me. I am. She's the chosen queen I of the Zira kingdom. I am chosen by the gods. I am no one can stop me. I am oh I am. oh I am. I am ayo I am ayo I am. Build your queen, chosen by the gods. What is it? it? Nothing. Sister, nothing. But your face looks heavy. I just want to sit here and relax. Make up. After which I would join my husband. Sister. Even if you want to tell lies, will you tell lies to your sister? Everything is not okay with you. Can you just let me in, please? Sister. My marriage is about to collapse. What? How? Everything that I have built in my marriage and my relationship with my husband is about to collapse like a pack of cards. You're getting me confused. What is going on? Ex explain to me, please. Alright. Calm down. Okay? His people are insisting that he should take another wife before he can ascend the throne. Take another wife? An another wife? Why is that? Any woman that is married into this land from another tribe has never risen to the level of queen. And the say, it is not going to start with me. Wow. That is what they say, right? Yes, it could be true. But sister, there is always an end to everything. 
seeking to enthrone that end could lead to his death. And I am not ready to lose my husband. I'm not. Sister, calm down. Your husband. You're not going to lose your husband. As a matter of fact, from what he has been saying continuously, he's not ready to take another wife. Your husband is even ready to relinquish the position because of you. <sighs> and that makes you excited. Why would my marriage to my husband be the reason that he cannot become king? I'm worried. I'm Sister. extremely worried Sister, and calm. that is what I need you to understand. Calm down. Please. Mom. Okay. Emotions so hard. Why the desperation no? Why are you fighting someone chosen by the God? So stop the fighting, stop the fighting, and embrace the truth, embrace the truth. The God has spoken, so you have to conquer, to conquer. Stop the fighting, stop the fighting, and embrace the truth, embrace the truth. Rejoice of the God, nobody can waste your heart to conquer. Oh, what about the monolo? There will be nothing good about this money until you are agreed to marry Shukuka. Ah, Papa. I am not joking about this. I am not joking because this is a lifetime opportunity and I will not allow you to throw it away. Papa, you're right. Now I understand all you've been saying all this while. Yes. I went to your room to inform you that I've decided to marry him. But you were not there. Oh. Yes. True daughter of the land. Did you just say that? Yes, Papa, you heard me right. Firstly, I want to make you proud as my father. And secondly, I want to contribute to the welfare of my people through quality leadership. Yes. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> I hope you have not come to me this morning with some kind of jokes. But I am not joking. How could I joke with such a thing? Throughout the night, I didn't sleep. I thought about everything you've been saying to me, Papa. And I've come to the conclusion that this is the best thing for me to do. Wonderful. Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> Ichi Mbono must hear this. But who is Ichi Mbono? He's a strong man in the council. You will soon get to meet him. Oh, okay. Yes. No way. Let me go out. Yes. Ah, uh, Papa. Huh? You're not going with your car. No, I don't want to go with the car because I don't like the condition of the tires. Oh. Okay. Let me go and change and go to where I want to go. As long as there is power and wealth to be controlled, I am ready to be the king. Who can question the opinion of the gods? I only for the Kwankwa the Bell. for uncle this early did you see him that's a question uh, no is he not in your bedroom no okay he should be in the compound just 
Check for me. Maybe. Okay. okay. I'm coming. Oh. Amen. 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 Jehovah. Amen. Amen. Nobody can question how to come back. I'm going to go his car is not here. That means he went out with his car. Where did he go to? And he didn't tell me he was going anywhere. You mean? He opened the gate, drove his car out, and closed the gate again, and I didn't notice. By the gods, why are you fighting someone chosen by the gods? Why are you pushing so hard? Why the desperation? No. Why are you fighting someone chosen by the gods? So stop the fighting. Stop. Darling, thank you so so much. Um, without wasting much of your time, we all know that the queenship of this kingdom is up for grabs. And since Idara, the wife of Chukuka, is not qualified for that position, are they not qualified? I. I am interested in becoming the queen of this land. <laughs> nice one. May the ghost grant your heart desires. <laughs> but I want you to know that it is no longer in the hands of the gods, but rather it's in our hands. Okay? If I emerge as the queen. Of this kingdom. Mm. I want you all to know that you will be part of the government. And each of you will be beneficiary. Personally, I am solidly behind you. Hey. I don't know about others. Hey. And we know that we have a lot to gain and enjoy. You have my full support in this. But just one question I have for you. Okay. How do we all be in support of you? Yeah. What about exactly. Calm down. What kind of support do you want from us? Yes. I will tell you when the time is right. Okay. okay. But for now, calm down. Dalono. Thank you for giving me listening. Who does Chiazokam think she is? All of a sudden she wants to become queen, not minding that we already have a chosen king. I think the best thing to do from now on is to start avoiding her.
Bono. <laughs> Thank God that I meet you here. I was actually on my way to your place. <sighs> so why are you running? Bono, you will not believe this. What I've been planning for a very long time has just clicked. And I want you to assist me to make it a reality. So what could that be? Hey, believe me or not, my daughter Ekema has accepted to marry Shukuka. And I want you to help me hmm, make this one to work through. Is that all? Oh, that is all. And I promise you that once it becomes a reality at the end of the day, oh, you will be adequately rewarded. <laughs> well, you are my very good friend. And at this point, I have no choice than to stand by you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what are friends for? Thank you very much. God bless you. It's okay. Uh, you, you know what will happen? What? We'll go to a place where we can celebrate this. Oh! Nice. <laughs> Let's go and look for a very good place to it's, celebrate this. It's all right. <laughs> Your arrival at the board of the guards is untimely and earlier. May I hear your reason? I have come to formally tell you, Ezalo said that I am no longer interested in becoming king of Ezra Kingdom. This is the same one of Anunuebe. That was handed to me the day my selection was ratified by you. I hereby return it to his house. Chukuka, why are you doing this? I'm doing this because I have been told that to ascend the throne and become king of this kingdom that I must marry a second wife. That woman shall become queen by my side, while my wife, Idara, becomes a nobody. Ezalo say, Idara has been my wife for so many years. She is my life, she is my primary responsibility, and every other thing is secondary. This is new in our history. This is new in our history, Chukuka. Why do you want to denounce the pronouncement made upon you by the gods? A pronouncement made by the gods upon your life. Why do you want to denounce it because of a woman? Idara is not just a woman, as I say. Idara is everything to me. She is my wife. She is my mother. She is my sister. She is the love of my life. She is my everything. And how is you becoming the king? of Ezira Kingdom, going to destroy your marriage with her. Me taking another wife will destroy my marriage. Me taking another wife will be me betraying the love and the promise that I share with my wife, Idara. I have spent half of my life with that woman. She has stood by me every step of the way, I cannot abandon her because of kingship. Is Alose. I do not pray that it befalls my sister, neither would I pray that it befalls another man's daughter that I have taken as my wife. I have decided to choose family over kingship. When you raise a stick to hit on the ground, first and foremost, show it to the sky. Chukuka, I advise you to go home. Go home and think. Think. Think about it over and over again. There is nothing to think about, Izalosi. My mind is made up. I have made my decision and there is no going back. The gods have chosen you to be the new king and you cannot run away from that. I am not running away. I am only running away from troubles with the people of Ezira. I have refused to understand that my wife is human and should be treated as human. I beg to take my leave, Is Alice.
I can readily see the reason the gods chose him. Do you still belong to this place? And cannot for any reason marry another woman. I love Idara. As for the kingship, another person can take it, provided I get to live in peace with my lovely wife and build the family of my dreams. Royalty is good, but royalty is not everything. Idara may be from Uyo, yes, but we have been through a lot together. And I cannot just throw her away. Simply because my people want me to be king. That will be wickedness and selfishness. I will not do it. Who can question the opinion of the gods? I only for the kwangwa the bell. Oh, yeah. Why are you fighting someone chosen by the gods? Why are you fighting someone chosen by the gods? Why are you pushing so hard? Why the desperation? No. Why are you fighting someone chosen by the gods? So stop the fighting. Stop the fighting. And embrace the truth. The gods have spoken. So you have to conquer. Stop the fighting Stop the fight and embrace the truth the choice of the gods Nobody can question you have to conquer Okwa kwa banti monora Ebo le sinte solo na banana Oko kon tike Nano kwi feni to fi ai Who can question the opinion of the gods I only for the kwangwa the bell Oh, yeah Joking. I'm serious. You mean you want to throw away royalty just because of a woman? A woman that is not even from our land. A good woman that is not from our land, but she's a good woman. A good woman is one that you can find anywhere. Where she comes from does not define her character. My wife has been a blessing to me and I am not going to throw her away because of royalty. How about her? Huh? My, 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 my family is in a bit of chaos because of royalty and the only way to, to, to ensure that there is peace and you know, get us back on track is to denounce my, my interest. I believe that woman has given you something to eat. Because no man in his right senses will do what you just did. I did what I did because I do not want anything to come between me and the love of my life. Idara. Has love ever achieved anything for you all your life? Yes. Love has given me peace of mind. Show me a greater achievement. Oh, 
I believe I did not come here to fight. Neither would I like to be cross-examined by you. I came here to tell you as a good friend that I have made a decision and I'm not going back on it. <laughs> Trust me, you will change your mind on that decision. I am going to use the youths of this kingdom to force your brain back to normal. Uh, Odilibe, you are not going to gather the youth of our kingdom and make me your topic. I have come to talk to you in private. You are going to respect that privacy. The very moment you became the chosen of the gods, you lost your privacy. You are now a public figure. And you have given us a topic to discuss for a very long time. Did he finally indicate interest in taking a second wife? He did not. But from the look of things, he needs to marry a second wife who is from this land in order to be able to ascend the throne. Like I said before, the decision of a man to take a wife, whether first wife, second wife, or even the third wife, is the man's decision to make, not a decision somebody else will make for him. Does it mean we, we didn't get that? Well, no dispute about that. But in this case, we are speaking with you because we are somebody who has a great influence upon the young man. And we believe that if you speak with him, you will be able to influence his decision. You cannot influence a man when it comes to marriage. Marriage is like cold water that a child pours on himself. If the water is so cold, the child will not make any noise. He will find a way to organize himself because he was the one who poured the water on himself. But make the mistake of pouring that water on that child and see how the child will cry. I don't know if you understand what I am trying to say here. Uh, yes, we, I do. Good. So, what do you have to say about his ascending the throne with a total stranger, a woman from another land as the queen? Well, the gods of this land chose him to ascend that throne. He did not. Choose himself. We must have to be very careful. Let it not appear as if we are trying to assist the gods in doing what they are supposed to be doing as the gods. They knew from the very beginning that Shukuka married a woman from outside this kingdom, but still they chose him. Can we please allow the gods to finish what they have started? Can we stop interfering? Why are we holding a lot of meetings? Stop the fighting and embrace the truth. Embrace the truth. Choice of the gods. Nobody can question. You have to come God. Okwa kwa banti monora. Ebo listen to solo na bananas. Oko konti ke. What is it now? I was on my way to your house. I want to see you. Now you've seen me, so what's your problem? My dear queenship is for the tested and trusted. People like me. So back off. 
So you are already agitated because I am in. What business do I have with you? I can see you have a sharp mouth. But thank your stars because I am in a very good mood today. So I am not here to banter words with you. I want you to delete the idea of becoming queen and support me. And when I win, I will make you one of the maidens or better still, the chief cook. You know how to cook, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, wow. You, you know, you had always been a dreamer. And um, <clears throat> that was how you decided to run for the presidency of um, Ezira Women Wing Progressive Union. You messed it up at the end of the day. No, it is idiocy to compare royalty with a mere classless progressive union. Okay, where are they now? Is the union not destroyed? You destroyed it. You destroyed it. I don't know, how or do you think a tozzy character like you could ever emerge as the queen of this kingdom? Who does that? Oh, please, just get out of my sight. I advise you queue behind me. Um, <laughs> just take a look at me. I, Ekema, I stand a better chance than you. All Chubuka has to do is get married to me and I automatically become the queen. You are married already, so I believe you cannot leave your husband for Chukuka. Right? I guess you do not know Chukuka is married. Oh. This is a marriage that disqualified him. The only thing for him to do is get in a second wife. And that second wife has to be me. If you can't deal with that, just look for a transformer and, and um, just hug it. Obviously, you do not know that Chukuka just denounced to becoming the king of his zero kingdom. Liar. <laughs> My dear, all you have to do is go and verify. I do not lie. Go and verify and then do something meaningful with your life. Or better still, go back to the city where you came from. <laughs> don't, don't tell me this is true. No, no, no. Don't tell me Chubuka has decided to back down now that I'm interested. It's not true. He cannot denounce becoming the king now that I'm interested. Why are you stopping me from going to the police station to make a report? Sister, not just yet. Come Why? On. Look, it is still very early. A person can only be considered missing after 72 hours. Are you kidding me? That I should wait for 72 hours before saying my husband is nowhere to be found? Oh, sister, that's what the law says. The law says nothing. It's my husband we're talking about. Brother, you... brother, welcome. Ine. Ine. Hey. Ine. Mm, sweetheart. Should you tell me you were going out? I'm sorry. I just had to run out very early. <sighs> what did you go to do? I went to see the chief priest. I told him explicitly that I'm no longer interested in the kingship. You finally did that? Why? Because I do not want to take a second wife. That's why. You did that because of me? I did that because of our love. I am committed to loving you for the rest of our lives. When I met her, I fell in love with you and decided to spend the rest of my life with you. Taking a second wife was ever part of the bargain. I am not going to jeopardize what we have in him because of mere kingship. It can mean a lot to a lot of people. I understand that, but you mean the world to me. And I'm not going to disrupt the love and the peace that we have here because of kingship. I'm tired. Please, can I go upstairs and freshen up? I don't know how 
how to feel. I don't know whether I should be excited or I should be sad. He just declined being a king because of me. Sister, aren't you lucky? I've never seen this kind of love. She's the chosen queen of Ezira kingdom. I am. Hey, I am. I am. No one can stop me. I am. She's the chosen queen I of Ezira kingdom. I am. Chosen by the gods. I am. No one can stop me. I am. Oh, I. I oh. Am. I told Ezalusi expressly that I'm no longer interested in being king. What is this doing here? I have done my best. Yes. I'm just leaving everything in the hands of God to perfect. And what can I do? Why are you pushing so hard? Why the desperation? No. Why are you fighting someone chosen by the God? So stop the fighting. Stop the fighting. Them days are true. Because I've spoken. Guess who is? Well, you know, I am not good at guessing. I'll try. Okay. You have perfected all the plans to become the new queen of Ezra Kingdom. Well, that's part of it. But that's not the major reason I am happy. Well, I've tried. So, break the good news. Okay. <clears throat> Obi. Yes. I was reliably informed that Chukuka just rejected becoming the king. Mm -hmm. I did not hear what you said. I said Chukuka just rejected becoming the king. In Ikuzuku? Is you? Are you telling me the truth? Yes. Hi! Wait. Mm -hmm. Did he give any reason? Why he declined? Ah, oh, he said he's not ready to marry his second wife. <laughs> In that case, I will move with full force. Full force? Yeah? Nothing is stopping us. Chapadoko. Full force. <laughs> I will fully take what rightfully belongs to me. Yes. You see this life? Mm-hmm. Only did he hear what I will hear again. I can't fool you fool. We to work and what they will leave here. Long, yeah. Hi, gods. Oh my god. Gods of Ezra Kingdom. Mm -hmm. Thank you for making today come. Ever since I was born, I've always had it in me that one day I will be the king of this land. Growing up, I've always had this dream that one day I will ascend the throne of Ezra Kingdom. Thank you for making this dream come true. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> My lovely wife. Oh, baby. You know, I can't thank you enough for your efforts, your resilience to making this dream come true. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. Once you are happy, I am happy. I mean, look at you. Just nene go do dim. Hey! A food dim, man. A food gonna give me a... Ofo nya na ju na biala. Just look at my husband. Okay, well, yeah, well. In well, yeah. Full of gum. Obim. Eh? Tia roba. Obim. In well, yeah. Again. In well, yeah. Again. 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 Chuguka came to see me moments ago. 
What? Did he tell you why he came to see you? Chukwuka came to my place to tell me that he is no longer interested in becoming the king. What? Why? He said he has been under pressure. Which pressure? Yes, he said he has been under pressure to get a second wife. That he is being pressurized to get a second wife before he could ascend the throne. And I want to find out from you people, who amongst you is the one pressurizing him for uh, a second wife? Wise one. Nobody is pressurizing him to get a second wife. He was only told the obvious. The obvious? Yes. Which is? We all know the position of our tradition as it concerns queenship in our land. No woman from outside, a foreigner, has ever been a queen in our kingdom. It's only full-blooded daughters of this land that can become queen in this land. That is where the issue of a second wife comes in. You think you know all this more than the gods? No, I mean, you think your knowledge of queenship and the land and culture and everything supersedes that of the gods? Aye. Don't you think that the gods are aware of his marriage with Idara? Aye. Wise one. But the gods are already aware of his marriage with the woman of you. And, I mean, but... but uh... Aye, there is no but. No but. You people should be concerned with how to make him a king, coronate him, let him become the new king of the kingdom. That is all you are supposed to be busy with. You people were so urgent in bringing a DBF for further consultation. Because you were actually looking for fault against him. You were searching for abominations which you can hold in order to disqualify him from ascending the throne. But the gods are always wise. Why did you stop at that? There are so many other things you can equally do. Ah, wise one. We are already doing all those things that are expected of us. Very, very well. The truth is that we only wanted to tie up the loose ends. That is all. Mm. Yes. In your dream, or in your attempt to tie up the loose ends, let the issue of second wife be buried. If the gods say otherwise before the coronation, I will not hesitate to inform you. When you came back earlier, I noticed you were very angry. So I decided to give you some space. But I think this is the right time to bring up this conversation. Is it okay? Can I talk to you? Yes, baby, you can talk to me. And I want you to know that no matter how angry I get, I will never pass up the chance to listen to you. Thank you for that. Were you joking when you said you were no longer interested in becoming king? I was not joking. I made it very clear to the chief priest. And he understood exactly what I was saying. So, when did you take that decision and why did you act without informing me? I told you. 
that I love my wife and that I'm never going to share my bed with another woman. In him, I mean those words. I know you love me quite all right, and that means what you're saying is true. But you have just complicated everything. It's like placing me before the firing squad. How? When you were chosen to become the king, mm. you had people who supported you. You gathered a lot of fans. Now, those people will automatically feel that I am the one who asked you to step down. I thought we agreed in this family to stop bothering ourselves about other people's opinion. In him we did, but not in this contest. When you're dealing with people, you have to be really careful. And the problem at hand is about the people. Baby, you know that we used to be very good in this family. Before all of these royal engagements came up. How about us? Can we talk about us? Can we go back to how we used to be? But the girls, why are you fighting so chosen by the girls? Why are you pushing so hard? Why the desperation? No. Why are you fighting so chosen by the girls? So stop the fighting. Stop the fighting. Embrace the truth. Embrace the truth. The girls have spoken. So you have to conquer, have to conquer. Oh, Stop the fighting, Stop the fighting. Hey. And embrace the truth How are you? How are you? Papa, I am not fine no. I am not fine That's a problem Papa, tell me the truth Is it true that the choosing king is married? <laughs> is that why you are worried? I am not sitting down. Oh yes, he's married. Papa, how do you think this will work? How? Is this why you are worried? Oh, come on, come and sit down. Let me tell you. Come and sit down. Let me tell you. Come, come over. Come and sit down. Sit down. Uh -huh. See, you don't have to be worried, okay? Once. You are married to him. His first wife automatically becomes the wife of his youth. And you are sent the throne with him as the queen of the kingdom. <laughs> Papa, hmm? let me ask you this question. Okay. How do you think this woman in question hmm? will agree to be a second wife in her own husband's house? <laughs> <laughs> There are men who own all the kingdoms. You see, a woman from Uyo has no say in what we have decided as men in council. Oh. Well, now it's appearing to me as if we are oppressing this woman. And I don't like it. I don't feel good about it. <laughs> Honestly. My daughter. See, the woman in question is not from our tribe. Hmm? And no woman from another tribe has ever been a queen in our kingdom. Oh. And it will not start in our time. Do you understand that? We have discussed with the young man and he has agreed to do the needful. So, <laughs> my daughter, you have nothing to fear. You have nothing at all at all to worry about. Papa, are you sure? Oh, very, very sure. If I am not sure, I wouldn't be telling you. Hmm. Papa, hmm? another thing. Okay. What's the interest of Charles Zuckerman in this whole thing? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> hey. She wants to become the queen of the kingdom through the husband. Even before the gods made their choice, 
She has gone around the whole community announcing that the gods will choose her husband and she will be the next queen of the kingdom. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Papa. Hmm? She accosted me today saying that I should queue behind her to support her to be the next queen of his zero kingdom. She, hey. is, she must be stupid saying that. But she is, oh. Um, what did you tell her? Uh-uh. Papa, trust me. Papa. Yes. I told her that I am the next queen of the Zira Kingdom. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you are the next queen of this kingdom. And nothing stops her. Papa. <laughs> <laughs> That's my daughter. Yes. Paragon of beauty. Next queen. Of this kingdom. Of this kingdom. Yes. <laughs> my love. Amen. Amen. Please, I beg you. You need to go back to the chief priest and tell him that you're still interested in becoming king. Please. I don't know why you're this way now. I don't know why you're doing this. You. One so just said this to me. I didn't analyze it properly then. I don't, I don't, what, what, what did you not analyze? My love, please, now I have analyzed it properly and I understand that it is going to be very tough if you maintain your stand. Please, it's just to go back to the chief priest and let him know that you're still interested in becoming king. I beg you, amen, please. I'm sorry, my darling, but I cannot do it. Do you know what? I grant you permission to take a second wife. You have my permission. Yes, please. Yes. Yes. In him. Yes. How can you? Why would you say that to me? In him, how can you say? that to me. It's not all about taking a second wife. Then what is it all about? It's about peace of mind. In you I have found peace. In you I have found true love and I'm not going to destroy all of that. All because of kingship. No, I will not do it. Ine, I promise you I am going to give you peace. I will make that woman my friend. I will make this house very peaceful. This house will be the most peaceful home that you have ever and experienced. I am not to have a second one. Abawen, you have to keep this discussion very brief so I can proceed to where I was going. Well, Ichi, I don't intend to keep you here for more than three minutes. That would be nice. So, why did you request to see me? I want to become king. And I want you to help me actualize it. Why are you sounding like this? Ichi, I might sound strange. Yes, but that's what I want. And I need you to help me actualize it. Tell me what it will take you to support me. Name your price, and I'll bring it to the table. From the way you just sounded, it uh, appears you are not a good student of history. Why do you say so? Were you not there when the gods chose Chukuka to be king? But Chukuka declined. Yes, I was there when he was chosen by the gods. But that same person that was chosen by the gods declined. Yes, so that's why I want to take it upon myself to be, and I need your support. 
Well, I'm not aware he declined. Well, come on, Ichi, let's not lie about this little thing. You are fully aware. You see, I need you to support me. And I promise you that when I ascend the throne, you'll be well compensated. It's all right. You have to give me some time so I can think about it. Well, that's okay. Take your time. After all, it is the right thing to do. Think about it and get back to me. Thank you for your understanding. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, uh, I have to be on my way now. It's okay. Ezio. Are you not Ezio? Odugumweli Bobo of Ezira Kingdom. Why are you keeping quiet over this? You know what to do to end all this. Well, mortals will not appreciate the powers of the ancestors if they are not allowed to explore their vanities. I mean, make fools of themselves for a very long time and finally come to term with realism. That's what I'm doing. Why waiting for that? Chukuka might be broken and that will spell doom for the people of this kingdom. So what are you advising me to do? Tell them the truth. Tell them that the woman he married properly and named her his wife can ascend the throne as the queen of this kingdom. There's a problem. The kingdom is now very charged. You and a one up now. People are angry. There is no way I can actually tell you. In fact, there is no space for me to even say that to anybody. Tell them the truth. Let the gods take it off from there. There is something I need to discuss with you. I should be asked, you are not supposed to go. Now that I have attracted your visit, you should come, let us discuss certain things. It was indeed a trance. Ezudu is appearing after so many years. This is indeed a very serious issue. Very serious. To you, stop looking around. Mama, yes, you. <laughs> hey, Ngwano, what is it? I am warning you. A direct warning from Chief Ogoro. Stay away from my daughter. Aron Abagi. Eju kwa re se. What? Is there ise? Is it meaning? My friend, go and tell your daughter to stay away from me. Can you imagine? You are married, and you are supposed to be happy in your husband's house, not to be throwing stones anyhow. No, if you go near Akita, your daughter Wakasi go in a city. Yes, she has finished her life in the city, and here you are looking for a husband to marry her. Hey, <laughs> Dagonu, Chukuka will never marry your daughter. And how's that be your business? Why won't it be my business? How is that your business? No, why won't it be my business? Tell me, why will it not be my business? Chukuka has made it very, very open that he does not want to be king. Okay. My husband, hey, Odogu, Odogu, mm. Odogu mm. Abangwe, mm. one mm. of Ezira kingdom, mm. is willing to be the king. So I advise you, 
When next you want to talk to me, talk to me with some degree of respect. I am the queen designate. Are you done? Get this to you, that your little score. Over my dead body, except I, Chief Uguru, is not alive. That is where your husband will become a king. He will never become the king of this kingdom. You just said over your dead body and it will be over your dead Your and husband, husband will body. never become the king oh, of really? this kingdom. Are I am Chief Oguru saying it. Are you threatening us? Oh, oh, oh. Threat? Threatening who? You or your husband? Listen. You and your husband put together or individually. Or you look for others in addition to yourselves. Are too small for me, Chief Oguru, to threaten. So now get it very clear into your skull that should anybody, I mean, any idiot misbehave, I will deal with that person ruthlessly. Get a knock on my nonny way. He will cock a now, he will knock up a rola. That is what you are. You know what? You just declared war. And my Odugu and I will be so glad to go to that war with you. Oh, you mentioned war, and here is it. Take it. You have the war. You wait for the war. And you have wait the war. Wait for the war. Now get out from no here. No matter what you do, I must become the queen of Ezira Kingdom. And it will never happen. I, Shifogoro, is stating it here categorically that you will never become the queen. Because of Shurigin, the she, she yeah, get out from here. Shurigin, you live here. Old man. Dirty man, look at him. Silly man. Get away from here. Get away from here. I will become you queen. Whether you like it or not. Stupid old Please. man. Who look at him. Is this silly old man? Is this the body? Is this the body that wants to become a queen? Look at. Honestly, Robert, you are falling my hand. Uh, uh, um, Jessica, um, again, Ma is your friend, and you know everything about her. She traveled to the village and I've been trying to reach her. She's not taking my course. And you haven't figured out why? You are bigger than this, Robert. I don't understand. Why does it appear to me as if there is something you're trying to say to me? Can you confirm it? Is it what I'm thinking? I don't know what you're thinking. And I cannot confirm what I know nothing about. A man of your caliber should not be disturbing himself over a babe who don't want to pick his cause. Uh, Jessica, you know that I love your friend so much, eh? And it is not as easy as you think. I love her and I love her so much. Spare me that shit, Robert. You love her yet you don't know anything about her. You love her and you don't know the name of her village. We were getting ready to go there before your friend traveled. I only managed to reach her the day she arrived at her village. Ever since then, I've been calling your friend, but she's not taking my calls. And you still haven't figured out? Listen, Robert. Don't come to this place again to disturb my peace. What the hell is going on? I am done with you. What is going on? Jessica! Hi! Could it be what I'm thinking? Jessica! Hey! Chikoka, we will just go straight to the point, as our visit is a short one. Uh, before we get into the crux of the matter, can I at least, you know, um, have them bring some refreshment. Oh, Anything at all you want. Thank you very much. Uh, see this beautiful lady here. This is shirt we made for you. So we brought her to you so that the two of you can start getting acquainted with each other. If possible, she can move into your house as a wife to start preparing the coronation as the daughter of the soil. Yeah. Pending when you will officially come to marry her as a wife. My orders. Why will you make this move? I made it very clear that I'm no longer interested in becoming king. Oh, come on. No man turns down the shares of the gods. I know you were joking. I was not joking. 
It was a hard decision to make. I thought long and hard about it, and I made that decision for my own peace of mind. Do you realize we are talking about the throne of Ezra Kingdom? I know that we are talking about the throne of Ezra Kingdom, but like I said, I thought long and hard about it before I made a decision for my own good, for the peace of my household. So please, if I have nothing else to talk about, I'll suggest that you get up and leave my house. That's an insult on our personality. It's also an insult to bring this girl into my home. It is disrespect to me, disrespect to my wife. Please, leave. Chikuka, don't do something you will regret later. Please, leave my house. Yeah, sure, we will leave. But let me tell you, next time we will come, it wouldn't be this friendly. Come on, let us go. Come on. He will regret it. See, listen. Don't worry yourself. Eh? Don't worry yourself. Everything will still turn out good. I will let him know that we are the owners of this kingdom. Whatever we decide is what happens. Father, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Morning, Oma. How are you? I'm fine. Oh, I can see. I really think you care. <laughs> <laughs> Hope all is good. Yes, all is well. Uh, I just want to have some discussions with you. Oh. Uh, Ine, mm -hmm. let me excuse you both. Thank you. Join me. Ine. Ine, Ine, sweetness. Oh, really? Sweetness, yes. Oh, really? Yes. Nobody go my seat. My brother. Yes. I came to ask you. I heard you declined the offer to become king. Yes, I did. Why? Because I do not want to marry a second wife. I cannot deal with the the troubles that, you know, comes with polygamy. Is that what you want? Yes, I thought long and hard about it, and that's what I want. That's, that's what we want, you know, and I'm not going back on that decision. Okay, since you don't want, can you recommend me to be king? <laughs> 